the effect itself. So you just change your height if you can go either. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Yo, what is going on, guys? Boys, Switch here. Bring us in for the tour on how to make your own sweet abstract effects. I have three examples here starting my SSOHU logo. And also have the same exact render in Photoshop right here. And I really want to say thank you guys so much for the 13,000 subscribers, by the way. I mean, I really, truly, truly do appreciate it. And if this video hits 200 likes, obviously the secret giveaway in the description below, it gets unlocked. So don't forget to leave a like. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is a really good abstract. You know, if you like working with white backgrounds or white foreground colors, and you like abstract, you want to give this a, uh, give this a try and make, even uh, make abstract stocks. It's a really good way to do that. Probably the same way they do it, you know, if they were to have some cool abstract stocks. And if you use some really cool sweet materials or whatever, or some really cool gradient materials, it looks really, really good, I believe. So yeah, keep notice is really quick to do as well. And also keep note that my full series of my distort materials is now up for purchase for 10 bucks, version 1, 2, and 3. About 55 materials total and about really nice quality materials. So if you're looking for nice materials, look no further. If you enjoy SysOHU and you enjoy my content, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy these materials. So yeah, don't forget to purchase that if you want to. It'll be in the description below as well. So let's get started right now. So we can see the same exact example that I had in Cinema or the same exact example I had right here in Photoshop. Same thing we have right here. And this is the, same, uh, this is the render itself right here. You can see these are the materials I'll give away as well in the description below right here. The purple, green, and I just totally purple, green, and blue here. And so yeah, I'll give you these three right here. Really, really simple. Let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to delete that, hide this. And let's get started. So, anyways, you can use a whole bunch of different varieties. If you, like I said, we're gonna be we're gonna be going to the solid shapes and using the sphere. You can use platonic or square or something different, uh, pyramid. Like I'm saying, you can use a whole bunch of different things. But just take note and just take the example of how I'm doing them, and you know, just go ahead and go to freaking Simple 40 and do something amazing and sick and abstract. So, anyways, you wanna go to your solid shapes, go to sphere. You wanna go to your deformer now and go to where it says displacer. If you click in your displacer, drag it right into your sphere. And now, if you click in your uh, displacer. You go to shading, and it says the word shader right here. Go to this little drop down. You see the word surfaces, and then you have all these other examples. <clears throat> excuse me, and you have all these other examples to use. Uh, I use either fire, flame, galaxy, or uh, water. We're going to be using water for this example. So if you click on it, right away you're going to notice your sphere gets like more of a little of a displaced effect. It kind of looks like a pumpkin right now. Um, so yeah, if you want to go to displacer again, go to object, go to the word says strength, and go to press it to uh, maybe 145 from 100. Uh, you can either, you know, you can, you know, hit that up if, as much as you want. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's all per, uh, per, uh, personal preference. So I just like 145. You want to just use a higher strength you can. But once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and click back on your spacer. Go to your height now. This is where the effect basically comes into play. If you were to scroll up or down or whatever, you get this like really cool weird effect. And it looks more of like a really pointy looking like, you know, displacement right now. But if you like, like how this looks and if you don't want it, you know, to be all smooth and stuff, you don't have to. But let's just say I like it to be smooth. So if you were to just go ahead and go to your hypernerbs tab or your nerbs tab and go to hypernerbs and click on that one, the first one, and then just put your sphere inside your hypernerbs, and then you get this like really nice, smooth, cool, sweet abstract effect, just like so. And I believe it looks really, really good. Like I said, you can always just use a different variety of shapes or displace effects and you know strength and height effects. You can all just make it look really, really weird and really, really cool. We can have a whole bunch of different things. Um, so there's almost not, you know, one basic thing. So you can't just, you know, use it once and never do it again. You can use a whole bunch of different varieties. So if you guys enjoy this tutorial, it's really simple to do. Like I said, I'll probably just play around a little bit more just so you can see. So you put the strength up, strength down, something like that. And just, just throw your Cinema 4D material on it. If you made one, if you made one, or if you use mine, you use mine. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much. Don't forget, 200 likes equals its uh, secret giveaway in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SysOHQ. And if you really like these little abstract tutorials, uh, make sure you just comment down, like, you know, if you want to see something else, you could. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. SysOHQ out.